what's going on so it is mercury retrograde season right now and we're going to be moving into the solar eclipse but what is the retrograde about for those who don't know this is a perfect time to revisit some subjects in your life to figure things or contemplate things or get your strategy together so we're going to pull some cards this is going to be a pick a card tarot reading and also i'm going to also pull from my oracle deck too so you're going to be p- picking two different uh cards from two different decks okay so first you want to think of a number between pick three six or nine that's what we're going to do three six or nine all right and then we are going to look at your reading for right now so you got your number all right so this is for people who pick card number nine so i'm gonna go backwards <laughs> All right, card number nine. What do you need to revisit? We have the seven of pentacles reverse. Okay, so with the seven pentacles reverse, this message is telling me that you need to work on your patience, okay? There is something that you've been building up toward, uh, something that you've been waiting for to happen in your life. Because it's the pentacles, it could be something financial, okay? So if we look at this card, I don't know if it's in focus or not, but it's basically he's got he's been building up something. He's carrying this burden on his shoulders. This is something that you've been building up to. You're carrying this burden and he's having to wait for this beetle to go right between his legs. That beetle represents spirit and spirit making you slow down a little bit. So the universe is saying, hey, uh, I know there's something that you want. You want to finally get this burden off of your shoulders you finally want to see the progress in what you've been doing but you have to wait a little bit so don't get impatient and don't get weary in well doing all right let's move on to card number six for people who pick card number six this is your message okay and this is what you're gonna have to revisit during this month all right card number six the nine of staffs and it is reversed okay so nine of staffs reversed sorry every time i do a freaking reading i forget to turn this on vibrate sorry guys <laughs> the nine of staffs reverse is talks about you um letting your guard down a little bit okay so this is a time of retreat or you've been retreating or you've been holding back or you've been um blocking people not letting people into your life Okay, now it's time to reverse that energy. If you've been the type of person who hasn't been going out or have been putting your walls up with people, um, not really allowing people to see who you are, or you've been resting for a long period of time, whether it is in business or in dating, this is now the time because the energy is reversing and saying, okay, it's time to let that guard down. It's time to bring those walls down, okay? And see what else the world has to offer, okay? So I would suggest getting out there a little bit more because um yeah it is mercury's energy and it is an aries and sometimes i would tell people some people need to slow down but for you in particular you may have been already slowing down <laughs> so it may be to do the reverse of that and just try something different get out of your comfort zone and put yourself out there just a little bit more just a little bit put put your toe in the water see what happens all right now Let's move on to um, uh, those who pick card number three. Pick card number three. And your message is, look at there, four of swords. Four of swords. Now you are asking to rest. You are asking not only to be patient, but the four of swords. This could uh, be um, mental rest. Okay, Uh, so a lot of people are being asked to rest. Some people are being asked to let their guard down. And some people are asked to be patient. Patience is a different thing from rest. This is saying maybe you need to take a vacation. This is also Four of Swords. It's easily um, when you're battling with other people is to take a break. This is taking a break from the dating life. This is taking a break maybe on your work life. Maybe um, some of y'all are being forced into taking a rest. This is um, be careful with that because that can also bring illness too. So if you if you try to keep pushing. Um, so this is the time to sit there, stop thinking so much about everything that's going on in your life and just chill out a little bit. Put the swords down and take a moment for yourself to let the ideas come to you. Uh, let the communication come to you. Stop trying to make things happen. I know I say that a lot, make it happen, but this is not a time for you to make it happen, okay? Now we're gonna pull some Oracle from my Oracle decks on some of the things that you should do. This could be different for everyone else. All right, you're gonna pick a card two, four, or six. 
two, four, or six, all right? If you pick card number two, whoops, you've got the levitator. All right, card number two, you need to uh, see the bigger picture. This is getting out of the drama and seeing everything from a different perspective. When you change your perspective, you change your point of view. All right, for those who pick card number four, your oracle message for card number four. desperate card the desperate card is a very low energy uh this is don't do anything out of desperation don't do things out of fear um you, even if you feel like you're at the bottom there's only one direction to go and that's up okay uh but i would say resist the urge to do things because you feel like you need to do it okay or because i'm scared that something else will happen uh if you do it out of fear you're going to cause things to mess up especially if the message is for you to chill out Okay, so don't do anything as a des desperation and just have faith that things are going to get better. And if you pick card number six, card number six. Wow, fortunate. All right, there's a blessing about to happen in your life. Okay, so focus on that. The universe is about to bless you with something very, very good. Uh, something that you can't even imagine. This is good luck is on your side. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything if you pick card number six, because this means that the universe is about to bring some things into your life, especially around during the eclipse. You might start seeing a lot of things start changing your life. So stop stressing, stop uh, like, I need to do something. When the fortunate card shows up, you don't really have to do anything. The universe just kind of makes it happen for you. All right, <laughs> that is your reading. I hope it blessed you. Let me know in the comments on what cards you picked and if it resonates with you and make your reality happen or just chill out. <laughs>